The build is about to commence. Morning guys, well, it is that time of the year again. Here we go, the Patriot Games $170,000 giveaway. The build is about to commence. Now, we got something pretty exciting happening for this year. We had a massive success with the competition last year and we're doing it all again, but we're updating it to 2021 and we've got some brand new gear that we're going to be throwing into this build and a lucky winner is going to drive all of this away when we give it away towards the end of the season. Now behind me we've got the brand new Patriot Campers X1N. Now the X1N has become one of our flagship models. You can see up here this one's going to be featuring a Dometic electric rooftop tent. I'll show you through that a little bit more. Back it up. Morning Steve. Morning. Are you ready to go again? Let's go. No baby this year. No. We got a car to build this year. Ba one. Baby's I've coming? I've just got another email. Dude, good luck. Message. Yeah, good luck. Go, go do what you gotta do. We might have a D-Max baby during the build. Guys, congratulations. Best of luck. I can't wait to meet little Justin. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to finally meeting him and being a godparent, guys. I thank you so much. <laughs> Do you remember what happened last year during the D-Max giveaway? Um, I had to leave a little bit. Steve had a D-Max baby, and we called it Justin. No, we didn't. All right, mate, you pumped? Ready to do this one again? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yes. Who's on the tools with you? Well, there's only one man in this workshop that controls everything that's happening. It's in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Mr. Spanners. What are you doing? Going through all the gear? Yeah, couldn't help myself. Get in here, get in here. <laughs> We'll run through all of that gear a little bit later on. Now, yeah. we're going to do it a little bit differently this year. You guys got a little bit of time up your sleeve, yeah? Yeah. We've got a lot of brand new products going on to this thing that's sitting over here, which I'll throw, show you guys through in just a second. Are you excited to put this build together? Oh, yeah. Man. You got your entries yeah. in? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> entries are in. These boys yeah. will be showing you through the build. Um, we're doing all the kind of usual stuff that we do here on our builds, uh, but we're doing it with a lot of brand new products for this year. And a lot of people... Uh, that have been involved right throughout the season. So your typical stuff, your bull bar, your winch, your lift kit, wheels, tyres. Uh, we've got a PCOR tray going on the back, which is getting manufactured in the shed next door as we speak. But we'll run you through all of that as we go. But the most exciting thing is, we got a brand new D-Max. <laughs> See here right beside me, it is a brand spanking new truck. I hope the guys at Azuzu don't get upset, but this is leaps and bounds in front of the old model. Now, we've been running the old model D Max as our camera car for a couple of seasons on Patriot Games, hence the reason we gave one away uh, last year. But when Azuzu released the brand new D Max, we knew we had to have one. Uh, still got all the your standard kind of D Max stuff, your three and a half ton towing. But all new engine makes more power, more torque. The interior's got massive upgrades. But like I said, I'll run you through all of that a little bit later on throughout the build. Follow us through. Here we go again. $170,000. Can you imagine driving all of this away from Patriot HQ? Stay tuned. Make sure you got your entries in because this is going to be another big one. Let's run through a plan for today. Choice. What is, there's a lot of, there's a lot of gear here. Oh yeah. What are, what are you thinking today? What do we want to get through today? Well, cars on the hoist. Yep. Let's go suspension. Yep. Bull bar. Mm-hmm. Wheels and tyres. Lights. Winch. Yeah. Storm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, see what just happened there? Did, did anybody just pick up what just happened there? It just there? went from... Yeah. Uh, yeah. The trick is to make it feel like it's their suggestion. So it's more <laughs> like a question and then he goes, Yes, Justin, then when it comes 10 o'clock tonight, and I go, well, Dad, you told me this morning that you could do it. <laughs> See what happened? That was a Jedi trick. <laughs> Has anybody watched Star Wars? These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Move along. This is where it happens. Yeah. No, but, but for real, obviously you want to put lights and winch while you fit in the bar. Yeah. 
all brand new Iron Man stuff. Now Iron Man foam cells, we've been running them actually for a longer time than I think everybody actually yeah, knows. I actually like these. these They've been good. in the black truck for a very long time now and we, we love them. Um, Bull Bar's off-road animal. So off-road animal, Australian company, doing some really cool stuff. Mm. That real kind of pre-runner look stuff, yeah. which yeah. we're start starting to flow into. So we haven't got the full hoop Bull Bar lot we've done before in the past. Yeah. X-ray 220 early days, what else? There, there is another light as far as I'm concerned. Uh, which, we're gonna go with an Iron Man. Yeah. Have you used so one? I fitted and used them, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and? They're good. They're good? They're good, they're good. You know, we'll same, same, as, same as, you know, x-rays, they're good. They're just, they're just good. They're just good. <laughs> they're just good. All right, there you have it. Uh, day one, let's see how far you guys get today. I think if we can nail that today, that'd be awesome. Yeah, um, be a good start. But it's gonna take a little bit more time, all this brand new gear. But let's, um, let's get it started, get into it. Have fun, no babies. <laughs> I'm gonna do some work. Yeah, you gotta stay here the whole time this time. Especially with tools. <laughs>
Uh, there are about a three mil uh, plate ste uh, steel, steel bull bar, which we run on all of our cars. We don't normally run aluminium. Yeah. Uh, powder coated finish. So you can see here the accessories that Dave's are uh, fitting. 220 mil LEDs uh, from X-Ray. I'm converted now, eh? Oh yeah, these are the best. We run them on absolutely yeah. everything. I used to be a big HID fan because of the projection. Yeah. But quad optic technology uh, from X-Ray. They're now getting massive projection oh, out of them. So mate. impressive, yeah, yeah. There's a little light bar that comes with the Predator bar from Off-Road Animal as well, um, which is pretty cool. They've made a space so it'll house most of your 22-inch light bars if you for whatever else. You know, well, there so. you go. There's something yeah. I didn't know. But if you want to burn the road, go uh, <laughs> go with X-Ray. Thanks, Dave. We'll see what Steve's doing over here. How's that uh, fitment going? Oh, fitting good. Fitting got your, good. Got your rears done. Yeah, I saw that. The rears are done. Yeah. How's, how's the kit going together? No, oh, you're just well. starting on this side. Yeah. Shall just... we be talking through the other side? Sure. Before we do, quickly have a look at this. Little press plate uh, upper control arms. Um, I wouldn't say that they're going to be a bad thing, but we're fitting something a lot stronger. Definitely, yeah. Shocks are in my top five. If you've, you've watched any lighting up videos, uh, shocks are probably about the second mod that I would do to any four wheel drive. Number one, I've always said it, I reckon tyres gives you the most bang for your buck. Uh, but suspension, definitely. Biggest one with what we're doing and the builds that we do is we totally transform uh, the weight and the stability of the car. You add a winch and a bull bar to the front, you're adding on another, what, 200 kilos? Between one and one few. It depends what you put on there. Well, that's true. It depends on the accessories. Let's call it 100. Yep. I'm wrong. Steve's right. For once. It, it does happen. It, does, it happens more than <laughs> often. It only happens when the camera's off, though. Um, and then at the back, obviously, we're doing a P-Core tray and P-Core canopy. Um, we want to set this thing up to be able to uh, tow a little bit heavier as well. So rear suspension's yes. probably more important than the front. Yes or no? You've got to, you've got to take into account what you carry. Yep. Are you going to tow a caravan? Yep. Are you going to tow a Patriot camper? Yep. Toy hauler? Yep. You have to take everything into account. What are you going to put on the tray? What are you going to put on the tray? If you're going to put a ton of gravel on there, you're going to be completely different. That's it. So consider these things when you pick your suspension for your four-wheel drive. You like that? That was pretty damn I was eh? Come for a walk with me. Let's show them around the front. Because I think the front's the coolest. Check out this kit. Have a look. Have a look at that. That goodness. Um, cast aluminium, upper control arms. You can see uh, much, much stronger. Geometry wise, do they change? They do. Or so about the same? these will correct your car your camber. Yep. So obviously when you lift an IFS, yep. we want to start moving in. Yep. Then it corrects it, start pushing back out. Okay. It tries to put it back into OE spec. Yep. So your geometry is the same, your car doesn't bump steer and do all sorts of stupid things. Coilover shocks, really, really cool. So with the coilovers, biggest thing is uh, you've got some height adjustment there and spring rate adjustment. So as you tighten up the collars at the back, uh, you can compress the spring, lift the car up a little bit more, or give it a little bit more spring rate in the front. Was that right? Pretty much, yeah. I know a little bit about suspension. Uh, when it comes to fitting suspension, I don't know anything. But when it comes to talking about suspension, I've got it. We've had a lot of experience with Ironman stuff now, eh? Yeah, we've got a um, few cars. It's good gear. It really is good gear. This was actually a uh, uh, factory fitment on the 79 Superterra for a long time, eh? Yeah, actually, yeah, it was. <laughs> well, you should know, you were fitting it. I know, I just had a blank mush. Steve had a moment. I just had a moment. So, there you go, Steve, thank you. Um, the build is progressing absolutely amazingly. These boys are into it. It helps so much when you've got the guys that know what they're doing. Um, I think the goal for today will be realised at the end of today and hopefully you see this thing uh, sitting back on its wheels. Uh, I might come back to you at the end of today. See ya boys! See ya! Okay, so we've gotten to the stage where the off-road animal bars fitted out to the point that it, it can go on now. It's, it's pretty cool because the winch cradle's integrated. So. We can fit it up like this, and then I can drop the winch in through the front. I haven't fit the Ironman winch to this bar or anything, so it would be. We'll see how that goes for clearance. <laughs> let's, let's get her. Let's get her. We on. see. Anyway, so we'll get it on and um, get it bolted up, and then it's winch time. Test fit's going good. This actually, how angry does this front end look? I'm, I'm pretty happy with it actually. But um, I'm gonna keep fitting this out, get the winch in and finish off all the little trim pieces and I think 
Where are you? What are you on to, Steve Snorkel? Yes, bench is done. Uh, it's got to get on the ground to do the final front and the bolts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get on the factory snorkel. And we should be good That'll for wheels run. and tyres this afternoon. Oh, sweet. So we might actually we'll have it on the same way. Fitting the snorkel takes a bit of prep work. I've removed the air cleaner. I've got a stencil on at the moment, which that's the scary part. I've just taped up the A pillar to put the bracket on. We're going to double check all our measurements and then we get to put a big hole right there. So it's winch o'clock. Um, it's pretty much one of the remainder things to do on the front of the front of the bar. I haven't I haven't had a play around with um, Iron Man winch before, so I'm actually pretty keen to get this unboxed and check it out. Um, I only hear good things about them, so let's get it out, have a look, see what we get with it. Ooh. That looks the goods. Nipping up this fair lead, and then I've got the, these front wings to chop out, the front guards, and then um, that's this that's this setup, this Miko, and um, I think behind me Steve's pretty much finished the snorkel as well, which is going to put us straight onto the next bit, next phase. Done. I do the snorkels on. I'm just clean up the guard. Did have a little trouble. It did get me. I am bleeding. Cameramen always like bleed, blood. Bleed my own blood. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! We are running a Mickey Thompson MTZ 265717. This is pretty much the same tire we have on the MUX. We didn't want to go too big, obviously bigger tyres, more modifications, um, and this tyre is 100% ADR complied and stays within all of the rules. We've got the wheels on, suspension's on, bull bar is on, the factory snorkel's on, let's drop this thing on the ground, end the day, go home, come back fresh, kill it tomorrow. Peace. Exactly what he said. What a cracker day. Let's get this down, eh? You're just in time. <laughs> huh? You're just in time. Am I actually... This is not... It's no, flashing. Are we recording? <laughs> Are we actually done? We're on the ground. Boom. It's Ooh. on its own way. It sits good, huh? Badass. It sits real good. Free to return to that emo rap. Ain't no kilo stash. Augusta's son had a reload that. Daddy gone, but his legacy strong. How do you figure? I too thought I'd be dead. All things considered, but I'm living, thriving, and growing, fighting opponents that I. Well, there you go, guys. What do you think? That was easy. I wasn't even here. <laughs> Everybody knows by now. You know I don't get on the tools. I'm not allowed to get on the tools up here. Because when I get on the tools, I do more damage than good. That's why I will leave it to the professionals. Uh, front end looks badass, man. Cool, looks huh? It's really cool. You happy with that? It's completely transformed today. Eh? That is a tough looking rig. Yeah. That is a real tough looking rig. Can't believe this is, yeah. Winning this, eh? Jeez. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, game changer. Like, this is a game changer, the new D-Max. It looks amazing. I think, once again, we crushed it. Like, absolutely crushed it with the gear. You boys crushed it with the install. Good day. It's gonna be another couple of couple of big days, but what a transformation from what you yeah. saw this morning. Um, this is what this is what we do, eh? But this build here, everything you need, I think, without all of the fluff this year. Without yeah, all the all I the stuff so. you don't, you know? Yeah. I think the person who wins this car is gonna have 
a, a, a very good foundation to build it into whatever they want to build it into. Yeah. But I think once again we got it right. I think so. 100%. Boys, well done. Crushed. Yeah. Good day. Can we go home now? It's been yeah. such a big day. <laughs> yeah. And I'm starving. Yeah, we're hungry. <laughs>